Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com and here is the preview and tutorial on how to use the Summerana snow overlay actions. So here is the image that I'm going to work on and I already have my actions uploaded. So the first thing we're going to want to do on this image is go down to winter prep and then click winter play. And this is in Photoshop CC and I'll show you in Photoshop elements after this. Here you can adjust your group layers entirely or you can go down to the individual um, layers where you can adjust them yourself. If you don't like a certain look you can click the eyeball and it will hide that layer like if we don't want more color or if we don't want it on um, part of her, you can click the layer mask, select a black soft paintbrush. You can select a soft softness here for your hardness. And then paint in the white layer mask and paint it off of your subject. If you change your mind, you can go back to a white and paint it back on whatever you prefer. Next you'll want to go to winter scenery if you have a lot of greens or yellows in your image. And again you can adjust the opacity of each layer if you want more or less greens. You can also brush it off or on. So sometimes um, it does get rid of yellow too since a lot of the um, greens kind of come off as yellow. So if you want it back in your image, just choose a soft white brush and you can paint it right back. Now I'm going to select lower opacity and just slowly paint it back. If you're unsure of what you want to paint back, you can always shut it off just to get an idea of what you want to paint back. These are um, pine trees, so they're naturally green even in the winter. And it's nice to have a little color in your image. There we go. I'm just going to do a quick run through. Next you have your color cast remover. You can get rid of any yellows or greens on their skin or anywhere else in your image. Um, I'm going to select this brown color and press OK. And I'm just going to kind of adjust the opacity of my brush. I'm going to paint over this just because it's kind of distracting. When I posted this image on our Facebook page, somebody pointed that out. So, And if you don't like the color, if it doesn't match, you can always double click this box here. And you can select a different color in your image or just in your color picker box. And then press OK. And you can always adjust the opacity. Here you go. And I'm going to go down here also a little bit. Actually, I'm going to lower the opacity. And then I'm going to do another color cast remover. You can do as many layers as you like. And I'm going to select um, kind of this green color. And I can always come back and change it. That's okay. And here I'm going to paint over her dress just so she kind of blends in more with the scenery. And I'm just doing a really quick rough edit here. I'm going to play with the colors a little bit. If you want a more realistic color, I would stay more down here or up here. If you go up here, it starts to look kind of wonky. You can also select areas in your image. You 
You can also select here and zoom in. And again, I'm just going to do it really quick. Edit. And you can come back and erase it off of the parts you don't like. And you can also come back and uh, change the color or adjust the opacity. And if you wanted to make, let's say, your bracelet or your eyeshadow or anything like that a different color, you can always just make another color cast layer. Just play it again. If you make any mistakes, you can just select a soft black paintbrush and just go back around the edges. And then once it's finished, you can kind of go through So just a quick edit. Um, after that, you can go down to Apply Snow Overlay, and you can select any snow overlay that you have. This is the Winter Play Snow Overlay Collection from SummerOnna.com. And you can brush off her face for any way that you see fit. Once you have that, you can select your actual snow overlay and you can resize and rotate by holding the shift key down on your keyboard and you can make it bigger or smaller or you can select the link here and that will contain its proportions and then press the check mark making sure that you have your actual snow overlay clicked and not the layer mask you can also flip it around however you like and you can change the snow perspective by pressing continue however you like also making sure you have your snow overlay selected you can blur your snow um, sometimes it's fun to blur one snow overlay and then add on another snow overlay to kind of give it a different effect. It's also fun to mix and match. So I'm going to blur this layer a little bit. There we go. You can also make your snow overlay stormy. So it's coming down either to the left or to the right a little bit. You can lighten your snow or darken, making sure you have your snow overlay click that you want to uh, lighten. You can press continue and then you can adjust the opacity. So you can make it either lighter or darker. And you can also add a winter blend. It will automatically select the blue 
but you can change that by clicking this box here. If an eye is showing, that means that layer is on. If it's off, if nothing is showing, that means it's off. You can also add a winter haze. just a little brighter. I'm going to add a little more color. Actually, I'm going to go on over here. You can paint on your depth. Anywhere you see fit. You can also adjust the opacity. And you can paint on some more color. Or you can adjust the opacity in your winter play. But I like to add the paint on feature just because, um, you know, when you're trying to get rid of the color, you don't want the color added all over your image. So a lot, a lot of times it's a lot easier to just spot treat it. And then you can also make your image black and white. Once you're done, you can um, go down to Happily Ever After and that'll help you save your image for you. So just a quick before, after. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, there's not much else to show you in PS. So I'm going to go over to PSE and I'm going to show you on a different image very quickly. All of the actions run exactly the same. The only difference is there are no group layers in Photoshop elements. So I'll show you here. It's not putting it into a group. And this is Photoshop Elements 11. It's the same in anything above that. So again, you have the eyeball. You can get rid of the layer. Or you can adjust the opacity here. Winter scenery. Now I'm going to adjust my brush settings here. So you want to click your brush, go to brush settings, and you can choose the hardness here. So you want it at zero for softness and the size and opacity here. And I'm going to select a black color, a black paintbrush, and I'm going to select my white layer mask on my winter scenery layer. And I'm just going to kind of paint back some color in her. So as I said earlier, sometimes it gets rid of some of the yellow tones that you want to keep. So you might have to paint back some of it. And then of course you can adjust the opacity. Here we go. Um, you have the color cast mover. It works the same way. Apply a snow overlay. You can hold down the shift key and drag your corners. Or you can just click this box, constrain proportions, and then click the green check mark. And you can brush it off of her. by painting in the white layer mask with a soft black paintbrush. And you can mix and match any of them, any of the snow overlays. And the same thing works here. You can resize, rotate, change perspective, blur your snow, snowstorm, winter blend. Press continue. And you can mix and match these as well. They're fun to play with. You can also mask some of it off. And this is just a rough edit.
can also select winter haze, paint on depth. It's kind of fun to play with all the different colors here. And you can also paint on more color or black and white. Same exact thing. So really quick, here is the after and here is the before. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.